St. George's Cross is a red cross on a white background. It was originally the ensign of the Republic of Genoa and was used successively by Crusaders and then adopted by England. It became associated with St. George, the warrior saint often depicted as a crusader from the late Middle Ages. The cross has appeared on many flags, emblems, standards, and coats of arms, such as that of the Swabian League in the pre-Reformation Holy Roman Empire and it was introduced as the emblem of several countries and cities which have all had St. George as a patron saint, notably the Republic of Genoa, the Duchy of Milan, the Kingdom of England, and Georgia in the Caucasus. The cross is also found, for various reasons, on the provincial flags of Huesca, Zaragoza, and Teruel and Barcelona. It is used extensively across northern Italy and is the symbol of Bologna, Padua, Genoa, Reggio Emilia, Mantua, Vercelli, Alessandria, and most notably of Milan, where it is often called the Cross of St. Ambrose. Origins and Medieval Use St. George became widely venerated as a warrior saint during the Third Crusade. There was a legend that he had miraculously assisted Godfrey of Bauelon. Also that Richard the Lionheart had placed himself under his protection. According to legend, the Crusaders received miraculous help at the Siege of Antioch on June 28, 1098 from a great army on white horses, clothed in white and bearing white banners, led by St. George, St. Demetrius, and St. Mercurius. However, there was no association of the Red Cross with St. George before the end of the Crusades. The Red Cross in particular was associated with the Knights Templar, from the time of the Second Crusade, but in 1188 red and white crosses were chosen to identify the French and English troops in the King's Crusade of Philip II of France and Henry II of England, respectively. Together with the Jerusalem Cross, the plain George's Cross became a recognizable symbol of the Crusader from about 1190, and in the 13th century it came to be used as a standard or emblem by numerous leaders or polities who wanted to associate themselves with the Crusades. The red on white combination was chosen by Genoa and Aragon, among others. St. George was depicted as a Crusader knight during this time, but the Red Cross had no particular association with him. A Crusader era fresco in the crypt of Trani Cathedral shows St. George wearing a white cross on a red surcoat. The white on red version was chosen as the Reichsbanner by the German Crusaders in the 12th century and Emperor Frederick II used it in his European campaigns of the 1250s after he had returned from the Crusades. It continued to be used as the Reichsstammfahn of the Holy Roman Empire, eventually giving rise to the flag of Savoy and the present-day flags of Switzerland and Denmark. The association with the Saint of the Red on White Cross probably arises in Genoa, which had adopted these tinctures for their flag and George as their patron saint in the 12th century. A Vixillum Beatty Jojo is mentioned in the Genovese Annals for the year 1198, referring to a red flag with a depiction of St. George and the dragon. An illumination of this flag is shown in the Annals for the year 1227. The Genoese flag with the red cross was used alongside this George's flag, from at least 1218, and was known as the Insignia Cruxatus Sumunis Janu. The flag showing the saint himself was the city's principal war flag but the flag showing the plain cross was used alongside it in the 1240s. The cross ceased to be a symbol directly associated with the taking of the cross, the resolve to fight in a crusade, after the failure of the crusades in the 14th century. With the development of systematic heraldry, there was great demand for variations of the cross symbol and associated terminology. Juliana Berners reports that there were crosses innumerable born daily. The term St. George's Cross was at first associated with any plain Greek cross touching the edges of the field. Thomas Fuller in 1647 spoke of the plain or S. George's Cross as the mother of all the others. It became fashionable in the 15th century, with the full development of classical heraldry, to attribute fictional coats of arms to saints and other historical characters from the pre-heraldic ages. The widespread attribution to St. George of the Red Cross on a white field in Western art dates to the early 15th century, but the association may have been established by the early 14th century of the Red Cross used as insignia cruxata sumunis by the city of Genoa and its patron St. George. In any case, Edward III of England chose St. George as the patron saint of his Order of the Garter in 1348, 
and also took to using a red on white cross in the hoist of his royal standard. England. Equals origin equals, there used to be a claim that the red cross worn as an emblem was brought to England as early as the 1190s by Richard the Lionheart, but this cannot be substantiated. The red cross was introduced to England by the late 13th century, but not as a flag, and not at the time associated with St. George. It was worn by English soldiers as an identification from the early years of the reign of Edward I, and perhaps originated a few years earlier, in the Second Barons' War. St. George rose to the position of patron saint of England in a process beginning in 1348 with the foundation of the Order of the Garter and culminating with the abolition of all saints' banners except for the St. George's Banner in 1552. From 1348 and throughout the 15th century, the St. George's Cross was shown in the hoist of the royal standards of the Plantage Net Kings of England. Equals modern use equals. Equals England equals, a combined British flag was created in 1606 by combining St. George's Cross with the St. Andrew's Cross. The flag was initially for maritime display, later restricted to the King's ships. Afterwards, the St. George flag remained the flag of England for other purposes until the Acts of Union 1707. At the Union, the first Union flag became official for all purposes in the new Kingdom of Great Britain. From this time, the St. George's Cross came to be seen as a symbol of England and Wales when used alongside symbols for Scotland or Ireland. So in the flags of the Commonwealth of England during 1649-1660. The flag of St. George is also the rank flag of an admiral in the Royal Navy, and civilian craft are forbidden to fly it. However, ships which took part in the rescue operation at Dunkirk during World War II are allowed to fly it as a jack. Churches belonging to the Church of England may fly the St. George's Cross. The correct way for the church to fly the St. George's Cross is with the arms of the diocese in the upper left-hand corner of the flag. The flag of St. George has enjoyed a resurgence in popularity since the late 20th century, partly due to football-inspired nationalism, and also in response to the devolution movements in Scotland and Wales. During the 2010 World Cup, UK Prime Minister David Cameron told Parliament that the flag would fly above his official residence at no extra cost to the taxpayer while England played in the contest. Equals derived usage equals Guernsey was permitted to use the St. George's Cross as its state flag between 1936 and 1985. The coat of arms of Montreal, first used in 1833, had a St. Patrick's Cross with the floral emblems of England, Scotland, Ireland, and France in its four quarters. The cross was changed to a St. George's Cross in 1938, representing England's dominating influence over Canada and a city flag in the form of the arms was adopted the following year. The city of Nanaimo in British Columbia also uses a St. George's Cross on its flag and arms with a ship and pieces of coal, its former main export. Three Canadian provinces use the St. George's Cross on their coats of arms, Alberta, Manitoba, and Ontario, again reflecting England's influence in Canada. The state badge of the Australian state of New South Wales features St. George's Cross with a golden lion parsant gardened in the centre of the cross and a golden eight-pointed star on each of the cross limbs. Georgia St. George is the patron saint of the nation of Georgia, and the St. George flag was supposedly used in the 5th century by Georgian King Vorktangorgasali. In the 13th century, Queen Tamar of Georgia used the St. George flag during her campaign against Seljuk Turks. The four Jerusalem crosses were later added by King George V of Georgia, who drove out the Mongols from Georgia in 1334. The flag fell out during the Russian annexation of Georgia and abolition of the Georgian monarchy. However, the flag was revived by the Georgian patriotic movement in the 1990s. A majority of Georgians supported the restoration of the medieval flag of Georgia including the influential Catholicos Patriarch of all Georgia Ilya II of the Georgian Orthodox Church. The flag was finally adopted by the Georgian Parliament on January 14, 2004. It was formally endorsed by a presidential decree signed by Mikhail Saakashvili on January 25, following his election as President of Georgia. Sardinia The flag of the Italian region of Sardinia is popularly known as the Four Moors flag 
and consists of a red cross on a white background with a mower in each quarter. The four moors design appears to date to the late 13th century, in origin associated with the crown of Aragon. It became associated with the Aragonese kingdom of Sardinia during the 14th century. Sweden In Sweden, the term St. George's Cross sometimes refers to the cross pattern copyright e used by Swedish Freemasons. Notes External links Flag of England at FOTW, Banners of English Saints at FOTW